Hello Universe, welcome to News and Games on this lovely and dull Tuesday. I'm Dyspraxic Lemon and I'm here going to be giving you some news. Should only be a quick news show today, I've got a fair amount to go through though, so let's get on with it. The first thing I'm going to talk about is this video of a bear cub being trapped in a garage and then the mother bear rescuing it. There's nothing particularly special about the video, you don't see it that often though, so I thought you guys might want to see it, links to the video are in the description. Now first on the actual news list today is the selfless act of a 15 year old boy after he saved a cat from a tree. Now this story wouldn't have really been newsworthy or notable if it weren't for two things. One, the tree was 60 foot high, and two, fire and rescue services refused to do anything. They claimed it was unnecessarily putting lives in danger whilst rescuing a cat. The cat is now home safe and sound after being up the tree for five days and the boy is being hailed as a hero. In my opinion, he should be held as a hero. Rescue services refused to rescue the cat and so this boy did. Well done to that kid. Now today like I said it's going to be a bit of geeky news and the first bit is that Mojang, the makers of Minecraft, are releasing a new game. For those of you who don't know what Minecraft is, I've got quite a few videos on my channel, link to my channel down below. The new game is called Scrolls and it appears to be a strategy slashed uh, sort of card game. It looks quite cool, good sort of graphics, nothing like Minecraft. However, Mojang have said it is likely that customers will be charged a monthly fee. I really am pressed for time today and don't have the time to go into this in huge detail. However, links are in the description, including a link to the official site. I recommend you go check that out. It's got loads of information. It's really useful. Also, I'd like to hear your opinions. Comment and tell me if you're looking forward to scrolls. I want to know your opinion, so comment box down below. Do your thing. In more gaming news, Mass Effect 3 is going to be getting a free update that will give the players an extended ending. However, the ending will not be changed. It will not be a new ending. I don't know about this one from a personal perspective, but I didn't follow the games, but there was outcry all over the internet and people were pissed because it was a crappy ending apparently. According to the ending, it made no sense and completely ignored decisions made in play which was supposedly one of the key aspects of the game. Bioware are now hoping that this will make a bit more sense and will show players just how they played in the game and how it affected the storyline. Now we are moving on to our last story of the day because like I said, this is going to be a quick video and we are going to get it out of the way as smooth and quick as possible. This last story is that Apple has dropped claims about virus immunity after earlier this year a Trojan virus made its way onto half a million Macs. Apple have been done for several claims recently that don't seem to be fulfilled including in the UK Wi-Fi plus 4G iPads when the 4G in the UK will not be compatible with the iPad. Not only that, 4G is not commercially available in the UK yet and is not likely to be for at least another year. On the page Why Buy Mac on Apple's website they've now amended an image from it doesn't get PC viruses to it's built to be safe. So yeah, that is a large oops from Apple. Now I am sorry that is the last story of today, and I am sorry it's been so quick. I promise a lovely show for you tomorrow. I am having to drop the Thursday show this week due to a couple of personal issues. As a make it up present to you guys, I will be bringing you a Friday news show instead. Friday's going to be a bit more relaxed, you know, possibly a bit Pokemon. Let's just have a mess around. So yeah, apologies about that being the end of the show. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with a really good news show, I promise you. So I've been Dyspraxic Lemon. Thank you guys for watching News and Games. Goodbye, universe.